I'm Ian Elliott Carter. And I'm Mick Thomas. And this is the Intellectual Controverse Podcast. Absolutely. Now, you know, I do think, like, for example, what's going on to bring this topic in, um, Harvey Weinstein and, and, and all this, the, the sexual things, Kevin Spacey, all these people, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll digress more into it. But I think when we are putting this shit out, that it is actually changing human civilization, not maybe for us, but for our children, mm -hmm. to be like, you can't get away with this shit anymore. Because yeah. we've heard for- That's I'm, great. Yeah, and that's great. Like, because yeah. we heard from, you know, all the time, like, yeah, how did that girl get a movie role? Oh, she probably yeah. sucked a dick or whatever. Yeah, we've always, we've so, always had those thoughts. So that means that yeah. culture has existed mm -hmm. for a very long time. Look at Mad Men. I mean, you can watch movies in the 70s with Burnt Reynolds, and he's like slapping women. Like, yeah. it's nothing. <laughs> like, it's like, hey, why are you gonna stay in bed? Bitch. <laughs> like, that used to, that was, but that was accepted. I've had these accepted. thoughts before, like, there's there's a boom of people calling out. Like, even today I heard something about Brett Ratner. You know, it, there's a Who? lot of people, Brett Ratner. Brett Ratner, Brett Ratner. The, the director. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, there's okay, a, okay. There's a That's lot of directors and movie producers right now being called out, like, it's a boom in them, like, every yeah. day, and it, it's, it's it's fresh. Yeah. And actors as well. But I've, I've always had this thought, too, like, even with Washington, D.C., but Hollywood especially, Yeah. that is a huge reset button, because <clears throat> that is that rumor has been going on since the seventies. Like, right. oh, you want this movie role? Bend down on your knees. You know, do whatever. You know, mm -hmm. sexual to please right. this person. We've known about it for years. It's just now being called out because it's more of a, a, a it's a sense of society, which yeah. sometimes it can be too sensitive. But I am glad they're calling it out like right now. You know who's gonna be called out more? I think. Who's that? I think right now the movie role is getting it, but I think it's gonna be politicians. I mean, because people with agree, the key is people with power yes and money. And no, and okay. this is why I'll say this. Break it down. If Mr. Grab by the Pussy became president after that. But to be do fair. Do you really think they're going to not get away with stuff? To be fair, they're going on trial uh, with one of his guys who are talking about the whole if he peed on a Russian. Like, that's going to be a question. They've been talking that, like, since yeah. right after he became yeah. elected. I, I remember. I know the story. I, yeah, I, yeah. I know what you're saying. And I believe it happened. He can deny I can see all that. I believe it happened. But, Which people are gross. But exactly. They're like, I, believe uh, it. I can't get but attracted anymore let's to look this. At, let's look at the track record. Kevin Spacey's being called out. Is Kevin Spacey a billionaire? No, but he's powerful. He's powerful. He's a powerful millionaire. He's a powerful millionaire, but yeah. is he a billionaire? Yeah, no. So th this is this is where it gets tricky with, okay. with, with Trump and, you know, the, these guys. But they're not doing it for money, though. A lot Trump. of these people in, in, um, in um, ho uh, not Hollywood, but Washington, D.C., these politicians, uh -huh. these are billionaires, not millionaires. Right. And there's a huge difference. Million and billion is a huge oh, difference. Oh, yeah, no. It's no. a huge no. difference. I think, I think if you Reshaping you, the world and, yeah, I could buy a fancy yacht. You might want to look this up, but I think it's like if you count to a million, it's gonna take like twenty some days. But if you count to a billion, it's gonna be thirty nine years. Thirty nine like, years. Like yeah, yeah, it's Absolutely. like it's like, and I'm I'm misquoting the exact number, but it's something that Do crazy. Do billionaires get in trouble? Millionaires get in trouble all the time. No. Do billionaires get in trouble? No. That's my point, though. No. I don't I don't think it's gonna. I think Hollywood's gonna burn. Martha, like a lot of these Martha people Stewart are, was probably the last billionaire I saw get in trouble. Billion? Is she a billionaire? She's a, well, she I was. I don't okay, know if she, I didn't think she, she was. She, okay. she is anymore. But when they did that whole stock trade, like she became a billionaire. Oh, okay. I and but you. I don't know. Maybe after, you know, paying all the fees. She probably went maybe you know just over a billion. You know, probably. But, but billion is power. Regard. Years. Thirty-one. Wow. Thirty-one years. So not thirty-nine years. I was close. Closer to. Okay. So as much as I would love years, to right. see it, though, I don't see like the same persecution for Washington and any politicians that Hollywood's getting. Okay. And I would love to, though. Right, Don't right. get me wrong. Because it's happening. <laughs> I would love I guarantee it's actually, happening. Dude, honestly, I would love to see that more than the Hollywood. I would, everybody I, I deserve, that deserves it, deserves it. But I would love to see Washington politicians, because you know they've been doing dirt for years. These are oh, yeah. old people. <laughs> well, they've been doing it since before these guys were I mean, there are stories of when I brought the whole Bohemian Grove thing. There's stories mm -hmm. of these powerful men. They would get boys. And put them in the redwoods, and it's like this gay orgy. Now that's a conspiracy side, but you hear it a lot about this story, mm -hmm. so there might be some truth. Because I don't know. I think uh, just just seeing what happened with the whole priesthood, mm -hmm. you know, uh, when when the um, was it the Boston Globe that that, that brought that yeah, out? Yeah, I, I saw the movie with um, yeah. what's the name Mark Ruffalo, and, and then it started like opening the pill, like the banana pill, no pun intended, like as in like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but, oh, okay, so where are these guys going? They go to Vatican City, where it's a whole country, now they don't have to go to court. What I'm, yeah. what I'm getting to is that I think we're just slowly opening 
what's really going on behind closed doors. Okay. And um, with and and the whole Kevin Spacey thing, like that's as much as I love him as an actor, Dude, which sucks. He, okay, and I, I don't mean to interrupt you because American Beauty, one yeah. of my favorite movies. Great movie. I love that movie. It's Usual like, Suspects. Yeah. Fucking great. A uh, horrible uh, boss seven, is underrated. He's a very seven. Good, yeah, se- oh, seven. He's one of the best villains of all time. Yeah. I'm gonna throw it out there, but terrible person. For him to say, you know, for being called out for just like pedophilia, pedophilia. Right. So obviously the story is that he was going on to a 14 year old boy when he was like 27 at the time. Yeah. And in Broadway or something like in that. Broadway. Yeah. 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 And the guy it's, it's been since the, that was in the eighties yeah. and the guy pretty much since this boom is going on where they're calling people out, he's like, let me get on that train and call out Kevin Spacey. Right. And Kevin Spacey did not deny it. Nope. He said, oh, oh if, it did, if it did, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you know, but but let me distract you with this. You guys been thinking I'm being gay for years. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> I am gay. So am I off the hook? <laughs> do you think, do you think that was. was his publicist, like, telling him, like, all right, listen, let's see how we can flip this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come out as gay. You'll be on People's Magazine. They'll be all talking about your story, and we won't be talking about that one time you touched a boy. And gay people were furious. Like, I see. Yeah, because yeah. They, don't want, they don't want that whole yeah. – they don't want to think people that, oh, because maybe you got molested or that you molest kids, that now mm-hmm. this is how you become homosexual. Yeah. When that is not true. Like, there's people who are just – hey, there's people who are just born who want to suck a dick. Absolutely, That yeah. j- exists, okay? But, yeah, let's he, not act like that doesn't. He was trying to build that bridge is like I'm gay so it's okay for me to molest a boy no right. these are two different subjects right here bro yeah 100% <laughs> it, it, it's 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 criminal but but that's what's happened I mean when you hear about Drew Barrymore freaking snorting an eight ball yeah. at a club at the age of 10 mm-hmm. like Hollywood's done you know what I mean yeah. like Hollywood's got they might act all like for people's rights and shit mm-hmm. yeah and they don't the really whole, care yeah. man, they want to, you know, going crazy. They want to definitely reach out to their audience. You know, I yeah. get what you're saying, and that's one. I really think Hollywood should hit the reset button. I, I think they're going the right way. A lot of people I do are too. going to, yeah. I, and, and I think it's it's going to get to a point where it's 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 not going to happen as much. Oh, in this society, you can't get away with anything like that. No. Like Chris, I heard actually this morning. I I was I tagged you in it. I was a little upset because Chris Rock is one of my favorite comedians of all time, top five. Yeah, I didn't see it. Sorry, I saw that you tagged me, and then it got. Oh, cool. It's, it's cool. So just, break it down. Just, what just happened? Just ignore, just ignore me when right. I talk to you. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah. Sorry, you, I bothered you. You go like this to me, and I'm Sorry. like, oh, Ian, <laughs> fucking stop, dude. No, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Ian, my friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, <laughs> so the story was, he was at like I think a college event or, or some something liberal maybe. I gotta pause it right there though. So he's at a college event. Mm-hmm. Where they are the first ones to protest about any little yeah. fucking thing you're saying. All right, no. go ahead. But so I think you already know what I'm going to go. Okay. On. He made like a, a sexual joke or like a, a sexual harassment joke, okay. or something like that. Would something we, that Chris do you Rock remember the joke? Do you remember the joke? I don't remember the joke. Would it be something though from what you read that we would laugh at? I haven't. I don't remember. The okay, joke. so you don't have the but context. Let me just say this. And by the way, ninety percent of Chris Rock's jokes I will laugh at. Yeah, and and yes. also we're going off of articles that are pigeonholing maybe not the full thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's that's what they're very especially college fucking kids. That's what they're fucking yeah. notorious at. But anyways, go I ahead. Get what you're saying. Go ahead. So they they booed him immediately when he made that joke. Okay. Whether well, if it was funny or not. Honestly, I respect the art of comedy. So right. if it's funny or not, I'll laugh. Or I won't laugh. Right. I'm not finna boo nobody or heckle nobody. That's just so disrespectful. Mm-hmm. So, but for so many people to boo him, I was just like, wow. Right. Like you guys, I get that we're passionate about things that are wrong, like sexual assault and and rape and all that stuff. Right. But this is a man doing an art. Right. And yes, ma'am. He basically said he won't hire women because they cry rape for money. Okay. So time out right there. <laughs> But but see so when you say I, it that way though no but when you say it that way so yes though, I would have laughed if, if, I was gonna say if, <laughs> if I, I would hear a joke and I just heard the punchline up out of every joke I'd be like every guy's an asshole no I'm not saying it on you but I'm saying like I would think every guy is an asshole because they they are uh, pigeonholing just this part they're not mm-hmm. they're not giving you the context of what happened beforehand yeah and college kids yeah. like that's why comedians can't even perform at colleges yeah, anymore because everybody sad. has this PG culture bullshit mm-hmm. where you can't like comedy the whole point of comedy is to laugh and. It, Absolutely, and how I deal with pain, I've oh, tried to make a medicine. joke. Of, yeah, I don't. I don't see a therapist. I, exactly. I the Netflix and watch some. Netflix. I I think it's easier if we have a if we have a a a a, a, a big old like blood coming out of us, right? And if we have comedy to heal it instead of just comedy is the best medicine. It's the Absolutely. best medicine. Absolutely. So this should not happen anymore, and the liberal party is going too far at that. Yeah, yeah. That, the, that this is where I disagree with liberals, of course. I. 
I'm in the middle, of course, like like you say all the time. I lean yeah. more a little bit like this. That contradiction me saying I'm in the middle, but yeah. I, I agree a lot with the with the liberals. But right. their sensitivity just it, I just can't get with it sometimes. No. Like seriously, like but like I think you were making the point that it was out of college, so I, yeah. So I, I get what you're saying, but I, I think like I'm just scared that Hollywood where people will see this the Harvey Weinstein's and the Kevin Spacey's that needed to be called out and they're like yeah. alright we're gonna go call out everybody everybody it's, who did one little thing and one little thing yeah and, and and what is also the question of like okay so let's say you're talking to a girl right mm -hmm. and you um, obviously if you're like forcing a situation as in like let me get this girl drunk mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna take you know advantage of her okay yes that is it's terrible that's yeah. terrible mm -hmm. but I, I agree with you. We're going to get to a point where guys might just be just trying to hook up with somebody and mm -hmm. somebody being automatically offended if they say, hey, you want to sleep together or something like that and being like, oh, oh how dare you? How dare you? I have I'm da, da, da. that type of and, and, girl. And, right, right. And, yeah. and where we become this PG culture where it's it, it becomes first people get intimidated mm -hmm. to not even talk anymore. Yeah. Where we have to just be like. Like, I don't want to live there. Well, I can see the reverse effect on this, and this is going to be so funny because okay. you know there's so many girls that are, like, you know, ready to do that. Right. You know, horny and stuff yeah, like I that. Yeah, I do. But you're going to get guys <laughs> that are, like, so scared to say stuff like that. They're, yeah. they're going to watch what they're saying. The girls are looking at them like, dude, just say it. Let's yeah. go. Come yeah. on, I'm ready. But I don't want to offend you. You know, like, yeah. oh, bro, grow some balls, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's going to be and so girls, awkward. And girls people. love confidence. Yeah. It's going to come to a point where <laughs> exactly. we're going to be like, can I can I hug you? Yeah, because a guy a guy is probably gonna be in a situation where a girl was very very sensitive and he doesn't know what to say, or you know, I don't know what I was about to say with that, but I I can see like it going bad in both ways, and we're gonna go so awkward with talking to each other. We're gonna yeah. go back to knock knock jokes. So yeah. it's gonna be so it's, weird. Oh, it's gonna be so PG. <laughs> it's gonna be so PG. You wanna come yeah. to my house and we can make a sandwich? <laughs> Get it? Sandwich. And then you can't even say like you want to watch Netflix. What do you mean? And what do you just mean? maybe watch you just some I'm movie. Ready to chill? No, I mean we could just chill and talk. I mean, I don't need to stick my penis in your vagina. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. get out. <laughs>